Hey folks, welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Last time we did basically everything there is to do on Brio, which took us a while, but we got there. Um, so next up on the list is Skytown. First of all, there be an item right here. Now for some reason I was thinking you needed um, screw attack to get this, but this looks like just a boost ball thing to me. I guess I never bothered to come back up here and check it. <laughs> That's fine though, we can do this now. This is why the map is handy, because it's like, oh, you, you can do all these things on the way and sort of plan out your route if you like. That's kind of what I've been doing between these um, item hunty parts. That's an E-Tank, man, that was an easy one. Could have had that a long time ago, but that's fine. Really not a big deal. Looks to me like there's only one more left. Yeah, that was an easy one, but that's fine. No big deal. No big deal at all. We haven't been struggling too bad. For the most part. The Gandreda fight comes to mind, but it's fine. Okay, what is next on the list? Um, Nothing there. Ah, the Steambot Barracks. Right, there was a... Um, spider ball track, I believe. I will head that away, and then we will grab that item. Okay, now I think it's just down this way, right? Should just be through here? Let's see. Yeah, this looks right. And just hold Z. There we go. Again, that one's just kind of hanging out. A lot of this is just stuff that we could have gotten a long time ago, and I just never got around to getting. But that's fine, since we need to be picking up some stuff anyway. Uh, we can kind of do things on the way. Alright, what's next? Hmm, apparently there's something... Well, we need to be going this way anyway? Hmm. On the bridge coming up. I can't say I quite remember. We're going to have to see when we get to the room here. We take the top entrance, yeah? This way? Is that correct? That is correct, okay. Where's this? Ah, this room. Okay, this is the Spider Ball track one, I think. Another one of those. Apparently Spider Ball unlocks a lot. Ah, uh, of course. It's that ship missile expansion. It's extremely important. We best get it. One of these stupid dudes here. I guess we better take him out. Probably gonna cause us issues if we don't. Oh good, a red one. Where did you even go? You need to just go away, man. That kind of worked. You know, that's maybe not a bad strategy. If your bar is really low, you can just shoot a Phazon missile as a last resort and probably end up doing more damage than, like, a couple shots of just the regular beam. How have I never thought of that? <laughs> I don't know. Best expansion. And by best, I still mean worst. Because we can never use the darn thing. Alright, great. I assume we got this lore. We did. Okay, I think this is going to go to the... Is it called the concourse? You know, the round room where you have four options. <laughs> Almost didn't line that up. There we are. Yes, okay, so now we want to go, I think, that way. Yep, this is the direction we want to go. There's a few items on this way, too. We're going to do some bowling first. <laughs> At least a little bit.
Hmm, we never activated this, I guess. All right, I guess we just, <laughs> we went back and then just didn't need to go back this way. That sounds right to me. That'll do it. Now, an item in here. I don't even see it. Oh! <laughs> How long has that been there? Wow, that is actually a sneaky one. <laughs> I genuinely don't remember that. Out of curiosity, I wonder... I wonder if you could screw attack across. I kind of just want to find out. It looks really far away. But if you can, that's kind of neat. Oh, you probably could if you did it just right. I kind of want to see. Oh, look at that. That's neat. I like that. You gotta really space them out with that. I do like the screw attack. It was a really cool addition. Hey, you. I need some health. Knock it off. I guess they have like a set amount of health. I don't actually know how much. You can theoretically just do this for a while just to kind of show this off. There you go. They do explode eventually. It's kind of neat. Yeah, nice. Well done. Now apparently there's one in this room and I... Hmm. I mean, there is something we can do in this room. Yeah, here we go. We can power this. I want to say this is just a shortcut. Yeah. Oh, there it is up there. And there's a lore bot as well. That's... I definitely missed that one. Okay, so we can just do this. Oh boy. Is it what I think it is? No, I thought it was a ship missile again. <laughs> But we definitely didn't scan this, so that's cool. Phase on, yeah, it's bad. Indeed it was. Oh dear. Don't worry, we put a stop to it. Sadly too late, but you know, all the same, we managed. Now I think it's just the one thing here. Yes. I did check the map between parts. Um, okay, this was the other one, that's right. I was saying, I said in uh, future me said, hey, I'll come back for this, and now here we are. I'll get back to what I was saying in a second. Oh no! Hmm, that's curious. The survivors l fled somewhere. I don't recall if that's ever explained, actually. Oh man, that is sad. Anyway, I was saying... Uh, I checked the map between parts, and I don't believe there are any items um, on Eastern Skytown. I think we're, we're all set on that front. So, we are finally back to this room. This was where we got the boost ball ages ago. Oh, hello! Gotta be honest, I forgot that these guys were back. Can we not just do this now? Yes. Does it knock? It doesn't even knock them down. That's sad. 
Can I just ignore them and do this, though? I can, and I will. Why did that take so long? Yeah, look, I'm busy. I really just want this. This is what I came for. Let me have it. I'm actually curious, before I pick this up. 88 pickups. Does this actually count as one? Oi. Okay, we gotta do this fast. Come on. Samus, please. I believe in you. Oh, so close. Come on, we gotta do the speedrun strat for the, for the energy cell. No! I just want to do something dumb. There we go, we did it. <laughs> it's silly. I like that you can do that. Did that count? 89? Uh, I, I probably should have been, you know, paying more attention, shouldn't I? That's just classic of me at this point, though. We'll say that it did. Whether it actually did or not remains to be seen. Actually, could we? Yeah, there he is. Let's get him. Didn't think of that, did ya? Okay, probably should have just done that in the first place, but I did it the dumb way. What's up with these now? Okay, now we can just leave. Cool. <laughs> Okay, so to my understanding, that is our lot for Skytown. Let's double, triple check this, that we haven't missed a one-off check somewhere. Get everything there, that's right, we got the item there. I saw that, hang on, that's an X. Everything back that way. No, I think that's everything, right? Gonna triple check Eastern Skytown. Nope, that's that. Okay. Well, in that case, um, I shall head back to... What's the closest landing site at this point? <laughs> Probably this one. Uh, I'll head to the landing site and I will head to our next destination. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're back at the research facility because there are two things we can uh, sneak in and get. And I think once we've done that, that is actually it for the pirate homeworld as well. So we're really starting to pick up all these pickups, you might say. <laughs> We'll go, we'll sit through this. So I think the one, uh, there's the one in like, I think there was like a morph ball maze. We can do that now. Yeah, because I think we didn't have spider ball when we were there last. Oh, I'm ignoring you. How do we get in there again? We have to go, it's not up that way. It's up here, I think, right? Get out of here. I'm, I hate these guys. They're so annoying. Oh my gosh, please. Honestly, probably the most annoying enemies in this game. They really have no reason to exist. They just do to be annoying, I swear. Go away. Should be up here. Samus, come on. I'm glad you put a platform down there. Samus, please. Thank you. Why did that take three attempts? Okay, should be in here somewhere, I think. I think there was a spider ball thing. That sounds right. Yeah, they knew you'd be coming back here for this. Oh, it's the best expansion, too. No! We can fix this, hang on. No, wait. We can fix this. Maybe we can't fix this. I really want to fix this, though. Ah, fine. <laughs> hang on, we can get up again. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, good. There we go. Okay, now we got this. Again, best expansion. Absolutely. Is this the way out? I hope so. I think it is. Yes. Then the other item should just be back around this way. Uh, I think there should still be lasers about. Oh my gosh. So now that we have the Nova Beam, we can do this. Which opens this up to reveal a... looks like a screw attack wall. Very slowly opening up, mind you. Look, you guys are kind of ruining the cutscene a bit. No, come on, Samus, you got this. Oh, get out of here. You gonna follow me up, too? Oh, how does one get in here? Oh, okay. Wow, I do not remember this. Is that a reference to, like, the the things before Mother Brain in, like, Metroid and Super Metroid? What are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but you know those, like, red shield thingies you have to use missiles on? I feel like it's a reference to those. That's pretty cool, if so. Alright. I do believe that is everything on Pirate Homeworld. If the door would ever open, please. I was, I was just in this room. Thank you. Let's have a look. Not seeing anything else there, and we will check the other places too. Nothing in this whole section. That's everything. Okay. In that case, I shall head back to the ship once more, where we will go to our next destination. How about that? Alright. Here we are on Norian. Now, apparently there's an item in this room. I was not aware of this. Do we need to use the ship to get it or something? I mean, I see this morph ball tunnel. I hear the item. Hey, I wonder. Hey. Wow, I never noticed that. Fair enough. Okay, now what else is there? Is there any other backtracking we have to do? No. And then there's two items in this section which we have neglected to go to. And there is actually a reason. We could have gone that way as soon as we got the plasma beam. But, uh, let's just check that this is the right way. It is, yes. Um, there is a particular reason why I wanted to wait until basically the end of the game to do this. And you will see what that is. Tell you what, um, won't take long, but I might as well cut out this uh, unnecessary travel time, so I'll get back when we get to the main room. Okay, so you may have spotted uh, this over here. I, I think this guy might even have something to say about it. Good day, Samus. You may want to rethink heading into this section of the facility. The area beyond this door is overrun with spent phase on from the initial pirate invasion. The locking mechanism was damaged and is currently inoperable. It is scheduled for repairs, but considering what's on the other side, I'm not surprised the welding engineers haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. Now this is also interesting, because you get to see this with the Nova Beam. This is, I think, like the only <laughs> real time you can do this. So it's kind of neat. You just have a cool green heaty beam instead of, you know, a, a red one. It's kind of neat all the same though. So, we can finally see what Generator B is all about. We've never been able to go this way. 
Ah, right, this. I forgot the music gets all dramatic. What's that all about? Now, the reason we never saw Generator B back at the start of the game was because I believe Rundus took care of that. But now we can finally get a chance to see what it's all about. Oh no, that's poor timing. Now we're good. There we go. And then there's an ice missile door over here. Nope, that's down a floor. Oh, here's some new enemies, hey. Where did he go? I need a scan. Hey, you... Nope, that's a... That's a Federation guy. Ugh. Doesn't sound very nice. Oh! Oh! Oh my! Please get off. I had the scan visor on. What was I supposed to do? I do have their scan. Yep. Hmm. They do make this dramatic. Wow, I don't remember the, the music change. Here we go. Here's Liquid Faison. Which we can shoot, and probably should. If I can ever aim, which I guess I can't. Probably do a bit of that if I could line it up properly. You know what? We'll just leave him to it. How about that? This might be... Is this just a lore room? Kind of seems to be a lore room, but I'm, I'm cool with that. Skytown, we've been there. This is true. We kind of knew that already, but it's kind of nice to see it from a different, you know, source. Rio, we've also been there. Wow, that's rough. <laughs> that is rough, isn't it? It's true, as we know. What about this thing? That's kind of neat. Huh. I do not remember that. That's intriguing. That must be something you can do if you replay the game. Wow, I, I don't remember that. I actually... I wonder what those do. Maybe I'll have to look that up. I'll have to see if I can figure out what those do. That's kind of neat. Hmm. Anyway, we shall continue on. <laughs> Hooray for doors locking. There's a thing back there. Are these new? I think they might be new. They are. It's a hopping Metroid. These guys are a bit wacky. They probably don't like being frozen very much. No, I would say probably not. But we can also just charge shot them to death, so it's fine. Yes, they have hyper mode. Why wouldn't they? I want to say this thing back here might be a scan. Let's see. No. Okay. Just murder them, shall we? Jeez, oh, there's a lot, aren't there? Oh, stop it. <laughs> Knock that off, a lot of you. Jeepers, where are they all coming from? I don't think this is like a 
take out the spawner situation. I Yeah, I didn't think so. You just shoot a bunch of them and that's basically it. And yay, a landing site. That's nice. Oh, good. Now we will send our ship here. Might as well. Because uh, once we're done here, we'll be done with this area anyways. <laughs> Hello, Phazon Bottle. Just kind of there. Okay. Now, actually, I believe we can use the ship to get up here. Yeah. And there's a lore entry. Yes, the Valhalla incident, we keep hearing about it. Hmm, well we know that that's not the case, but still, that's interesting to hear about. Might be one behind as well, doesn't look like it, huh? Can we get up here? That's kind of neat, you can. Anyway, let's move on. Get out of here. Is this a Seeker door? It is a Seeker door. Is this like the one Seeker door in the game? I don't even remember this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Why even put that there? Hmm, okay, we can't go that way. And this is where we're going to see something interesting. If the door can ever open. Remains to be seen, there we go. Now it's a bit of a mess in here, wouldn't you say? Yes, it is one of these, sadly. But guess what? He's dead. <laughs> this is why I waited until now. If you have the Nova Beam, you can just one-shot him. And thank goodness for that, because as we know, that guy is really annoying. So yeah, my, my advice, just wait till you have the Nova Beam before you come here. Because you do need to come here, but you might as well wait until the end of the game, basically. Go through our little morph ball tunnel. And we'll grab this. Lovely. And that's what opens the door, fair enough. Okay, that should be everything on Norian. I'm looking at our pickups, there's only six left. Alright, in that case, I shall once again return to the ship, uh, and we will head. There's really only one place for us to go at this point, and that's to the Valhalla. So that will be our next destination. So I'll see you there. So, now we can get to the Valhalla. Well, I mean, we've been able to get there for ages, but we've just neglected doing so, basically. Can we skip leaving? No? Alright, whatever. We'll roll with this for now. So the Valhalla... It's kind of just an area all to itself. But it's going to reveal something about, you know, a certain thing we've been picking up basically along the whole journey so far. And here we go.
so we know it was attacked by space pirates and whatnot, but they decided to leave it standing for some reason. Still, you got to admit, it's not in a great shape, is it? Okay. They do a really good job with the, the spooky uh, atmosphere here. I like the music, actually. It's very atmospheric, but it suits it perfectly. So. The thing about the Valhalla is these right here. Seems to be missing an energy cell. Well, it's a good thing there's one right here, isn't it? Isn't it? We did it. <laughs> that might even just be all of them in the game. I can't actually remember how many there are, but we've definitely found all the ones I can think of. There might be some on board the Valhalla. So, to finally reveal what you need the energy cells for. The energy cells are basically the artifacts slash Sky Temple keys of Metroid Prime 3. They are going to block access uh, through the Valhalla here. Oop, those are new scans. Okay. There we go. We did it. We got one of the Shriek Bats. Amazing. But yeah, they're basically the main collectible of this game, if you like. And these devices will actually show you uh, where each energy cell is, and it'll tell you if you've got it or not. Like we just found that one. So yeah, we could have come here, I think we got it after getting the screw attack, that sounds right. We gained access to this location, and there's probably a couple items we could have got by coming here early. But we would have been stopped by certain things, like needing a particular ability, or just not having an energy cell, stuff like that. So to me it makes sense to um, just come here at the end. But there might I'm pretty sure there's going to be an E-Tank here, so maybe it's worth coming early to get that. Couldn't tell you where exactly it is, because I don't remember this very well. But regardless, we shall press on. Hmm, I think this might be progress. We'll grab all these scans while we're passing by, because I do believe they, uh, they count as logbook entries, too. It's the Brio one, and as we know, some of these we actually just get, like, as a part of the main game progression. So some of these, um, you know, main things you need, um, just straight up, you'll just get during the game. So there's only, there's only so many that you need to seek out yourself. And, having said that, too, I think some of them just lead to items, so if you want, you can even skip some of them. It's a pretty good way to do it, to be honest. It's, it, I think it's especially good because um, getting the map data on Skytown actually does show you where they are. They just appear as items, and that was an awful jump, by the way. Yeah, this room kind of is annoying. I don't remember which way... It, you know what? That might even be progress. I can't remember. But I want to say back when we were on the Olympus, um, that room was just an item room, so I'm hoping that's the case here. Oh yeah, you know what? These guys are probably new. Yeah, they are. Miniroid. That's cute. I don't... I'm not actually sure if you can kill all of them in the room or if they just sort of respawn behind the scenes or something. I do not actually know. Alright, if this turns out to be progress, then we'll just go back there on the way out. It looks like this is. Hey, this guy might look a bit familiar. It's a phasing! I don't know why this thing looks like one of the inglets, but he does. Thankfully, we can just kill him by doing this. Yep. <laughs> uh, is this a missile, perhaps? I'll do it. What happened to this guy? Ugh. Same deal there. It's also nice, we can grab health off these guys if we really need it. 
and they really want to give us a lot, which is cool. You can just shoot them too. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is definitely progress, but that's fine. We'll come back for that other room on the way out. Mm, yeah, I don't remember the layout of this very well, but I can tell you it's not too large. Probably could have guessed that one. Yep, here's another energy cell. Let's do it. This one might just be for an item, you know, or... No, I think this is actually progress. Let's actually, uh, let's go back. I really don't remember. It's fine if we end up having to come back later. It's no big deal, but I just want to kind of see what we can see. Another one of these. Hidden fuel gel. I think that's the hidden court one. Well, we had to move the battery. That one was a pain. This does appear to be a dead end. We'll read all of these just to see. Research sample container system. Ah, that's the, the Zeno research one. We needed to get that for the Seeker Missiles. Really? Wow, oh, okay. Is that more of the same? Yes. Oh, hi there. These guys, are these the Phazon Metroid hopper thingies? No, they're new. These are Phazon hoppers, okay. They were Metroid hoppers and now there's these guys. Well, we know how to deal with them. Like so. I can't help but notice we're locking onto this. Oh, because it's blocking the Morphall Tunnel. There we go. Yep, that's a missile just hanging out. Cool. Now I'm being careful to listen out here. In case, because we don't want to, we definitely don't want to miss any upgrades it would be annoying to have to come back through the ship again. Oh, now these guys are all about. I think I'm just going to ignore them, to be honest. Oh, let me throw those baddies. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Up we go, please. I do hear an item, and it's probably something to do with this. Oh, okay. I was like, are we stuck? Where is this taking us? Okay. Wait. Huh? I'm guessing I did that wrong. But I, won't, I couldn't tell you how. I see that shot. No, that took us back. Oh, this goes down. Hang on. There we go. That was a sneaky one. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, we could really hear that one throughout the whole room, so it's good that we got it. Sadly, we have to do this again, but it doesn't take too long. Alright, let's go. I think this is just like a morph ball hole. Yeah. And now we get uh, sucked out of the airlock, so to speak. Deal with all these guys, no problem. Yeah, the, the windows are cracked. Dude, look at all the stuff out there. What is even going on out there? Wow. Ah, this is Seeker locked. Hey, 
I guess Samus turned on her gravity suit, by the way. Because <laughs> we're moving at normal speed and stuff. Who? This is definitely an optional room. Storage facility cooling system. I don't remember what exactly that was, but we got it. Apparently everything in here just requires missiles. Fine by me, I suppose. One down here too. Central Command Exhaust System, fine. You guys are real annoying. Oh, okay. You're gonna do it too, aren't you? I bet you are. There's so many of these guys, come on now. rip these off and I believe we need to do so maybe it's just this one all right no there's definitely more than one. Oh, that was not shimmering before <laughs> I like that it does one damage is that powers this which I imagine, ah, huh, leads to the most important item. Of course. But I did spot this over here. There's lore on this ship. Oh, it was the first one. There you go. That's very fair. Okay. So now we can head down here. We, we need our precious ship missile. No, come back. It's so important. There we go, we got it. <laughs> uh, it's so dumb. Now we have to go back, even better. Did the camera just turn? It did! Oh! Wait, you can bomb that. Oh god, the camera. <laughs> that was very confusing. This loops us around to here. Sorry, mate. That took a bit of effort, didn't it? But where we've ended up uh, below the elevator. It apparently moved down without us. Please use the thing, Samus. <laughs> it takes a bit of effort sometimes. You just have to find the right spot that it lets you uh, interact with it. That sounded like that was everything in that room, by the way. So I think we're safe to move on. Need an energy cell for this. I'd appreciate it if you didn't zap me during the cutscene. I'm just gonna go through here, see you later. We've got our phase on friends. Do with a bit of health, it must be said. We'll grab some and then just pull, I think. That's fine. Oh god, they were trying for the jump scare on that one. It didn't quite work that time. That's the last E-Tank, which is lovely. 
Oh, come on. And here's a green door. So we need the Nova Beam to get this far. These puddles take a few hits, it must be said. Like a weird amount, it feels like. Just, just move on. If the game will let us. It doesn't want to, but it would be nice if it did. There we go. This room, okay. It's got these things in the way. I think we can just pull them, perhaps? Within the wall. Uh, I don't remember how this works. We'll check this too. Fair enough. Can we just do this or something? No. There must be something we have to do up here. I don't remember there being this many on the pirate homeworld, but apparently there are. That's an elevator, I believe. Ah, hello. That'll do it. And of course, two more energy cells here. There we go. Yay, power. Power's nice. But what waits down below? It's one of these guys. Good thing we know how to deal with them. And let's remember, you need the Nova Beam by this point. So there you go, just do that. I love that that's a thing. Because <laughs> those guys are super annoying. So it's great that they, that they let you do that. Completely unnecessary screw attack, but I kind of just felt like it. Oh god. Request that you stop that. How did you get there? There we go. Anything in there? I don't think so. How are we doing on pickups? Okay, that says to me that the last one is back down at the start. The last one should be through there, I believe. Cool, good to know. Okay. Hmm. That's another place for those access codes. I've already forgotten what they are, unfortunately. I don't remember, th I don't remember this lore. Ah, Aether. Was it really 50 years?
Yay, the Luminoth, right, because they came back. There you go. It's kind of cool you find out how they ended up getting all the phase on. Now I believe we need this. We can do that. Now you may notice, uh, this is one of the Space Pirate boarding pods. That's the wrong one. I'm glad I missed. There we go. That's what we were after. The data you just acquired appears to be a Space Pirate Leviathan command code. It is likely that this code could allow us to control the Leviathan in orbit above the pirate home world. Find a way onto the Leviathan and use that code. Already been there, but it's fine. Now there's one other tidbit of info we can get here. That's kind of neat. Um, somewhere... There should be... Here, is it on one of these guys? Ugh. Ah, here we go. Seven, eight, three, five, six. Let's go put that in. successfully removed the primary mounting structure around our stasis tank. It is obvious now that they intend to extract us from the cargo. Which is, you know, what, what happened, as we know. It is vital that the Federation receive this transmission. That didn't happen. Severing main power. A large bioform is creating a wormhole. Implant into... Sentient planet, which is the source of all things. Yeah, then things get creepy, huh? Darkness coming. Yep. And, uh, we kind of know what happened there, right? If you remember, some of the pirate lore was saying that Dark Samus used the Aurora unit to basically control uh, the sentient planet. So, yeah, that probably wasn't good. Anyway. Let's head back and get that last item. I'll head back and do that, and then we'll go and punch the codes into... the thingamajig. You know, the thingamajig. The, um... The, the Leviathan. So I shall head on back, and I'll see you at the last pickup first. Alright. Okay, so, looks like there's a couple more energy cells we need to use. Let's do it. And there you go. <laughs> it struggles a bit, but it gets there. Oh no, we're just going to completely ignore them. It's gonna do that just to make sure. Also, there's lore here. Yes, the Talon 4 incident. So they both happened 50 years ago. That's interesting. There you 
you go. It's cool that they give like little <laughs> little things about the um, uh, previous games. Do they really need the one for the Valhalla? I guess so. Anyway, here's the last item. Hooray, we've done it. 100%. It's admittedly a lot easier when you have a map that tells you where they all are. <laughs> Which is kind of the reason I didn't go for it in the other games. It would have been cool, but I'm not actually that knowledgeable on all of the items. I've probably collected them all, but just never done it all in one, you know, proper playthrough, I guess. Anyway, that's all the items. So now I will head back to the pirate homeworlds where we can input the code into the Leviathan. Let's do that. All right, took a bit of time, but we're here. Let's do it. Sounds great. I look forward to fighting alongside you again, Samus. Godspeed. Yep. That's it. Now that we've done this, uh, we can head to the end of the game. Phase is indeed the last section. So basically all you have to do is, um, it's just in orbit above the pirate homeworld, so you just go to the the, the, the galaxy map there, uh, the, the planet map, and you can just select phase as an option, and then that takes you to the end. Hello, what's up? Take heed, Samus. Once you join the fleet and the wormhole to phase is opened, there is no turning back. Fair point. Please be sure to prepare yourself. We wish you the best of luck. They kind of make it sound like a point of no return there. And I suppose it technically is, just because there aren't any save points beyond that point. But this is basically the point where if you've missed any items, you can go back and get them. Once you select to go to phase, um, that's the final sequence of the game starts, basically. So, with that in mind, I think next part shall be the last one. Goodness, this one's taken a long time, but there's going to be quite a bit of cutting out, so it shouldn't hopefully be too long for you guys, but... Let's see, it's been an hour and 12 minutes on the recording, but that seemed to happen last time too. Like, the second last part of Prime 2 also took ages. This one did too, but that's okay. So yeah, next time shall be the last one. So, look forward to that, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. <laughs>